For more on all this, we are joined by Time Magazine senior science editor Jeffrey Kluger, our favorite person to explain complex things to us on Saturday <laughs> Thank morning. Thank you very much. So this, this is three separate studies. Let's start off with the temperature one. What did it say? Well, the temperature one said that, and here's a scary, a scary way to look at it, if you are 29 years old or younger, which disqualifies me, I must acknowledge, you have never lived in a month in which global temperatures were not higher than they were over the course of the entire 20th century average. Global temperatures this year are about 58 and a quarter degrees worldwide, which is two degrees higher than the global average in the 20th century. Now, if two degrees doesn't sound like much, consider how different you feel when you run a 98.6 degree fever as opposed to close to 101. Yeah. The planet is exactly as sensitive to those subtle changes as we are. Jeffrey, this, one of the other studies, a Harvard uh, Rutgers study, said that the oceans hadn't risen in the past century as much as we thought, five feet instead right. of six. But it also said at the end of the century, it accelerated enormously, and we're now going up about a foot per century. What is that telling us? Well, this tells us that we reach this sort of tipping point event. As oceans warm and as, as ice caps melt, what happens is sunlight stops being reflected back into space. Instead, it begins being absorbed by the darker waters of the ocean. So the more the ice caps melt, the, more, the faster they melt, and the more water is poured into the oceans, rising, causing sea levels to rise. We are about, we're on a target now for three feet of sea level increase by the end of the century, and every inch of sea level increase is two quadrillion gallons of water, and that pours straight off the ice caps and straight off the glaciers. It also seems to really affect what's happening underneath the water, all of the creatures that live below. That's right, yeah, we are at the verge of, this was a study that came out of science, the verge of what's being called a major extinction event. The oceans are becoming warmer and also more acidic as a result of carbon being sunk into them. We're seeing collapse of fish stocks, we're seeing the migration of the surviving stocks from waters that have become too warm for them to colder waters. We're seeing collapse of coral reefs. Whales, which have in, until recently been protected by some global bands, are now dying as a result of collisions with the increased number of cargo ships. The ocean bottom is being damaged by bottom dredging and also by uh, minerals resource mining. We're basically taking the one area of the world that we didn't have so much access to and damaging it in the same way we are the land. Such an important conversation to be having right now. It's quite scary. Jeffrey Kluber, thank you so much.